What is up guys, this is JA Monster Energy here, bringing you a video of iMod Sign. Now what iMod Sign is, is pretty much the new and updated version of iResign that lets you crack applications for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, but without the need of a jailbreak. Now this new um, application comes with a bunch of uh, fixed stuff, and like, it looks a bit complicated, so I'm going to open both of them so you guys can see which one, what's the difference. Now here's iResign on this side right here, and iMod Sign right here. And now what's the diff? Now it looks a bit different right here. We just drag and drop and resign, and then that's it right here. You have to configure it a bit different since we have the settings right here, and um, here we have preferences where you could either open resign IPA automatically, you could delete it. Like what this means is when it's done. Um, Resigning re it or finish cracking it, it opens iTunes automatically and adds it for you. So you don't have to go ahead and double click and open it and blah blah blah. So that's pretty cool. Other thing that it does is delete the original IPA. So what that does is like after you have resigned it and it has opened with iTunes or it had saved um, with the in the folder of resigned apps then it will delete the one you downloaded so like from app tracker from whatever website so then these two I'm not really sure what they're for but here we have a certificate chooser and what this does is like whenever you get your certificate from iMod, iMod zone um, then you could like drag it to your desktop and then just select it from there uh, this is like a list. What's um what you're gonna acquire? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is a list of all the apps you want to resign. So you could select many, many of them, and then just resign all of them at the same time. But just by just clicking start job, start job, and then other thing you could do here is drag and drop IPAs, or now you have the ability to browse for an IPA from a folder or just import all the IPAs, IPAs from a folder so you could click there like for example you open up that folder and it saves for you and it loads them and cracks them for you so here we're gonna go oh sorry so here we're gonna go and check for a new app let's go and just more popular have that one I've purchased that one. Let's just type for a quick one that will download to ISSH. I do not even know how to use this app, but I'm just going to uh, test it for you guys. So just file ape. Here we go. And just wait for this regular so while we wait yes this is a um, pretty much the same as I resign but just with a new name new icon and new preferences like I said it's a pretty it's a little a bit more complicated but you know we could get used to it and we could actually know how to resign so this is gonna take a couple minutes I have one already downloaded that I Oh wait, actually never mind, I deleted it. So here we go, it's gonna download and just to prove to you guys that I do not have the app, let's open up iTunes and check it out. So this type up here, ISSH, and there's nothing right there. Nothing right there. So we're good. Let's just go back to Safari. While we do that, let me reply to the people on Facebook. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold up a second. All right. So here we go, we have the application downloaded, downloaded, 
So we're going to click the little search button so it could open up. All right, and so we have it right there. Now what we're going to do, we could, let's try the, oh, sorry guys. Let's try the drag and drop feature. Okay, so there, and then it's going to show up here. Or we could hit the browse and then ISSH. So here we go. It's right there, and then let me hide these and start job. So it's extracting original app, checking something, stripping app, code signing ISSH app, verifying ISSH, and saving to user, blah, blah, blah. And there we go. It opened up on iTunes, and here we have the application. So after that, and you could... After that, you could pretty much sync your the application to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad if you have the certificates on it and you have all that good stuff installed. And no, like I said before, you do not have to be jailbroken because I have it on my iPad too. I can install it on my iPad too. Well, my little brother's iPad too, or on my iPhone 4S. And yeah, I have a lot of apps on my iPhone 4S that are cracked. So you guys can see here, I could just go ahead and... Whoa, never mind. I won't install anything because it's over capacity. Yeah, maybe it's time to delete some things. So yeah, anywho, that was pretty much a quick review and how to use I mod sign which is brand new I believe it came out oops hmm. I'm not sure when it came out but um it's brand new it's just came up there so yeah I'm gonna have the download link on the description below where you could go ahead and try it out for yourself it only works on mac but if you want to go ahead and run it on windows you have to do a bunch of other things you would either have to buy parallels and install it like uh, install mac on it i have linux on mine so only you guys could see there but you could still run it on windows using parallels or virtualbox whatever you would like or whatever you prefer and you could still run it and probably after that you could upload it upload it to any website like um, cloud cl.ly and then download it on your windows computer or blah 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 but that's up to you this was J Monster Energy guys just a quick again review of iModSign Hope you guys liked it. Go ahead and hit the like, so like button below and the subscribe button above if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my future video. Bye-bye.